So welcome to Hobbiton in Matamata, New Zealand. We're going to go have a private tour, so come on with me for a sec. Let's, this, this crazy place is filled with tourists and lovers of The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings, but we're going to go have a private tour, so come on this way. So we're going to walk up some Hobbit steps. Going to see one of my favorite Hobbit holes, actually. Okay. Um, now, it's weird. I don't really like the color blue. Hobbits. All three of my favorite doors are all blue. There's no reasoning behind it. And as you'll see from this one, it is quite lovely. Again, it's one of the five that only appears in the very distance of the shot that I talked earlier. Um, and these five that I mentioned about the shot were built just in case. So Peter Jackson was very concerned that if it, during the filming of his camera panned a bit too far, he would notice, or other people would notice, that the movie set just kind of stopped. Mm -hmm. So these five that we're seeing now were built just in case. To get the peripheral yes. image. Yeah, oh, okay. so in case the camera band like a little bit too far, people would be like, hey, well, on come on in, let's take There's a look. Here. But yeah, as you can see, this one is very well done. Again, you only see it from an almighty distance, but the details that you're seeing again uh, are amazing. Yeah, which is so when the so did they have just a, a, a group of craftspeople come up here and just build these? Are they special or are they just regular contractors? It was a mixture. So for the Hobbit trilogy, so this movie set we've seen today, yeah. it was a combination of people that do this for a living mm -hmm. and actual con workers and builders mm -hmm. because these all these Hobbit holes you're seeing today are all built to New Zealand standing of building. Because wow. back when they were building this movie set we're seeing today, the local council discovered we could take people inside the hobbit holes. So they said, if that's the case, we need to sign these off. You need to make sure so that they work. Every single door you see today is a like technically a livable building because they've been signed off by the local council and they have the resource consent. So if we really, really wanted to, we could live in them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we just saw in one. I, I'm, I'm thinking it's not the greatest of accommodations. Some of them have electricity, you know, some of them have electricity. Really? Um, as long as you just get rid of the... Right, wait a minute. Hobbits had electricity? Shh, oh. don't tell anyone. Uh, they yeah. smoked weed, they have electricity. <laughs> I mean... They're living a good life. They're you know? living a good Very life. Hard. I like these hobbits. Now we're, now we're visiting the, the village drunk. Well, in a way. In so a way. It's very tucked away in the hillside, so it's very hard to see. So down down there, okay. You might, you'll see more of the overgrown veggie garden or overgrown gardens in the hobbit hole itself. Yep. Now the reason it's so overgrown and so out of the way is because back when they first built this movie set, it was quite swampy. And there's actually a few natural springs around the place. Mm -hmm. uh, one of those natural springs is where that hobbit hole is. And so throughout the year, there's constantly water coming through it. And so what they've found is it's very hard to maintain because it's always very musty, very damp, all that kind of stuff. So the gardeners, what they've done, they've decided to let it do its own thing, make it overgrown, and then make it the town drunk, and it's easy as that. It's great. I love it. It's one of my favorite facts about this place. The gardeners were just one day were like, you know what? No, we're going to let it do its own thing. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, here we are coming out of a hobbit hole. Why do they call it holes? Why isn't it a hobbit house? Because in a hole in the ground, they lived a hobbit. In a hole in the ground, there lived a hobbit. I love it. First line of the book, you know? Yeah, take a look at all this. This is crazy. Come on, take a real quick look inside. This is the inside of a hobbit hole. We can see where hobbits live. Uh, not much in there. All right. Moving on. Look at all these hobbits here waiting to get in. There's the hobbits waiting to get in. 